What's up everybody? Inside this box, we're a bunch of parts to build a drone, the Tyro 129. 129, that's how much it costs, 129 bucks. Uh, for a drone, a seven inch with GPS, what the heck? How could this be any good? Well, I didn't think it was. Then I put it together and I was impressed. Okay, so from this box comes the Tyro 129. Here it is. Uh, I had to build this thing, and believe it or not, this is actually the first drone I've put together from scratch. Um, you get all of the components that you need, except for a receiver. I had to source that on my own. Now, I did change the camera. I had a run cam split uh, three. I thought I'd give that a shot, and I'm glad that I did. Uh, really an impressive camera. Um, I was really very skeptical about this drone, right? A seven inch for $129. Now, let me just tell you right off the bat, it is not the best, highest quality uh, drone that you're gonna buy, okay? But it is a very easy to build kit. I would say it probably took me a little over uh, two hours and most of that uh, time, I would say about half of that time at least, uh, was me not uh, doing what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, there are not directions, so putting this together is not hard. It is mostly plug and play, but there are a couple little things that I just didn't know, um, so that I had to kind of redo. Let's just take kind of take a look. Um, the only soldering involved is the motors uh, here to the ESCs, right? That's where you had to solder, and I had to solder my XT60 connector on the back. Everything else was pretty much uh, plug and play, right? You can see the connectors here plug in, GPS, VTX, camera, um, antennas just screw on. Really a pretty simple build. So if you're looking for something for a first time build, this is really a pretty good one. And it has GPS, which is interesting. Setting it up in, in uh, beta flight was actually pretty much a snap. So let's get this thing on the bench and take a closer look at the components and how it went together. All right, so let's talk about this guy, the Tyro 129. 129 because that's how much it costs. Um, it's a seven inch quad um, that you put together yourself. This carbon fiber, does it have some flex? Yes, it does. Um, you know, is the ESC look kind of bare? But it is an F4 flight controller. Flies actually pretty darn well. This, I think, is actually a really good place to start if you're looking to build any kind of drone, really. Um, this just happens to be a seven inch. A lot of people use GPS like this on um, long range quads. Um, but, you know, if you're just looking for something to build without a whole lot of soldering, this is really uh, actually a pretty solid place to begin. So now this is not going to be a build tutorial, right? But I will give you some helpful hints. Now, things that I did differently, uh, really just one, right? It's this. This is the Run Cam Split 3. Um, I put this camera in because I had one, uh, not because the camera that it came with was terrible. Um, it actually wasn't. But this is really good and I wanted to get some HD footage. Because of that, I didn't need the GoPro on top. I mounted the GPS right here. Now they suggest you put the GPS in the back here, um, right at the bottom, but I, you know, I don't think that's really a great place. I ended up putting my receiver there. I used an XM Plus. The one thing that it doesn't come with is a receiver. So let's talk about uh, building this thing. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get all of your parts out and kinda separate them. Uh, find your nuts and your screws. There's three different sizes. Uh, you're gonna need the medium and the long range, uh, the long size ones first. Um, and go ahead and find the nuts that go with them. The press fits are gonna go in the middle. Tap them into place first, um, and then go ahead and put your arms on. Um, e Sheen and uh, Albert Kim kinda did the uh, arms a little different, right? Um, you can either have these jutted forward, uh, which is kind of how I did it. That's how Ishin did it. Our Kim recommends it the other way. I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but I like how I did it there. All right, so once you get the arms in place, uh, do not forget this X piece on the bottom um, right here. Hold the arms, give them a little more rigidity. I forgot to do that, had to go back. Um, in time. Now, um, I highly recommend you pick up an M3 driver or a screwdriver. Uh, makes the process a lot easier than using an Allen wrench. 
All right, once you got the arms in place, go ahead and get those standoffs where they need to be. Um, and then you're ready to uh, get your flight controller set up. Like I said before, everything is plug and play, which is super nice. Um, you can kind of see the ESC is the black wire, camera is red and white. Uh, then we've got the VTX with the yellow, red, and black. Uh, GPS is red, white, and blue. And then the other red, red, yellow, and black is your receiver. I use an XM Plus receiver. Then the next step would be to go ahead and start soldering on your ESCs. The only thing that you really do solder are the ESCs and the XT60 connector in the back. Um, solder those on, then go ahead and mount your motors. Now pay attention to where uh, you put your motors. Um, you know, if this is facing forward, you know, your upper left and your bottom right. This bottom right is motor one. Uh, those are your black nuts. Um, the other ones are going to be your silvers. Uh, then you can go ahead and add your uh, ESC to the board, your, then your flight controller on the board. Once your motors have been mounted, um, you can go ahead and start laying the stacks on top with those um, little standoffs. Uh, after your flight controller, you're going to add your VTX and your camera. Once you have your receiver in place and, and where you want it, I put it in the back, um, I found that the uh, holes where it was coming out where it wanted the wires to come out um, my antenna wires were actually getting hit by the prop so I moved them uh, to underneath the quad get your top plate on board uh, adjust your camera angle add the uh, antenna for your VTX and then you're ready to mount your GPS now I thought right the e sheen label would be sticking up but actually that is the bottom uh, so when I stuck it facing up, I got zero satellites and my uh, my drone would not arm and fly. Then the last thing I did was heat shrink, heat shrink the motors, uh, the motor wires, and then I used some electrical tape to hold it in place. You could also use zip ties if you want. Now, this uh, is a 7-inch quad, which means it's substantially larger than uh, standard 5-inch, which a lot of people think are, are pretty big these days. So just kind of know that. It's a big uh, drone. It's going to attract some attention when you're flying it. But I enjoyed putting it together. It was a really fun build. Hey, let's take a look at this thing in the air and the run cam split. I really like the run cam three split. Uh, really nice picture. Much improved video feed, FPV feed uh, from the original. Uh, very flyable, good color there as well. Um, I enjoy, uh, really liked it. I was impressed. I didn't think it was going to be as nice because uh, I had experienced the others and the Tarsier and actually the Tarsier is really good. Um, sorry, the Caddx Turtles. I uh, was impressed by the field of view and the FPV camera, but really this uh, really pretty darn solid. So if you're looking for a good drone to start a build on, this is a pretty good one. I had fun putting it together. I never really built one from scratch. Um, and this was a good place to start for only $129. Um, you know, there is something to be said for uh, going inexpensive. But yeah, uh, how will it hold up? Uh, you know, time will tell. Um, I've only got in uh, five or six different flights on this thing, but the GPS works well. Again, uh, check out Albert Kim's videos for the beta flight setup and setting up the GPS. But really, um, it pretty much is set up for you. You just kind of have to uh, put it together and go fly. Hey, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about this camera? What do you think about this drone? Uh, do you trust it? Is it uh, sketchy at $129? Or are you going to go ahead and uh, pick one up and give it a whirl? Well, let me know. Leave the comments below. And uh, if you saw that anamorphic video of this thing flying, stay tuned for more anamorphic uh, videos. Those are coming. Um, that was just kind of a little quick preview. Anyway, uh, subscribe to that YouTube channel of ours. We'd love to hear from you in those comments below. And uh, don't forget to check us out on halfchrome.com. Hey, thank you. Good luck and uh, happy flying.